Shall we take a look at the Sideshow 1 6 scale Grievous in this video? Hello, folks, Denobi2 here, and thank you for joining me once again on another visual tour. And on this episode, we are going to be unboxing, reviewing the Sideshow A6 scale General Grievous reissue. All right, let's just get, let's just get that out of the way. Reissue. So let's look at the uh, the box art. Uh, they did update the box art uh, from the original release. Uh, they added uh, color photo in, in the front and in the back. And uh, look at the year here. Look at you see the 2020. Uh, it makes me wonder if, if this was meant uh, for an early 2020 release because I know they had announced it early this year. So it makes you wonder. Oh, I'm focusing on the scratches and wear and tear in the box. If you ever wonder why Hot Toys decides to uh, put their art boxes in a, a slip of plastic, this is why. Uh, Sideshow doesn't care about the box art or the way uh, the box is being handled. Neither am I. If I decide to keep this General Grievous, uh, this box will probably get chucked. So, yeah, it's... It's not, uh, it's not starting off to be a, a uh, it's not starting to, uh, off to a good start here. I'm going to play devil's advocate here, folks. I'm not here to bash the figure, uh, even though I have been disappointed by Sideshow 1-6 scale figures in the past on multiple occasions. So, I'm going to try to, uh, go into this and with a very neutral stance. And so far, it's okay. Uh, standard issue sideshow Star Wars delivery uh, accessories are separated in a uh, plastic uh, blister container on the top portion there. Uh, so they are taking cues from Hot Toys. The uh, the actual uh, the extra artwork slip cover. It's a trademark. It's very common with uh, with a Hot Toys release. And uh, let's remove the top portion here. And, and the original Grievous was shipped and packaged in foam as well. This version, this reissue, uh, is also shipped and packaged in foam as well. Uh, I don't see any damages so far. I don't see any, any concerns. And everything so far at this point looks okay. It just does. So, where do I start? First thing I'm going to grab is the mechanical arms that split. Now, I did go into this unbox and review researching the historical videos at the time. So that I can do, uh, so I, I can have a comparison. And right off the bat, I'm already dis I'm, I'm disappointed. Not already disappointed. I'm just at this point, I'm disappointed. Uh, the mechanical joint is. Uh, it looks like they just. It's been manufactured very flimsy, very weak. It. it the quality is not there, uh, and that's that's probably a, a big red flag right there. Um, I studied it. I was probably on this joint, uh, I would say, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I wanted to study it. I really wanted to kind of delve deep, like what happened here. The joints are, it, I mean, this is the exact same molding that was used back in 2014. If you guys aren't aware, uh, this was, this particular R&D General Grievous uh, went into pre-order in 2013 and then it was released into the public in 2014 so as the years moved on I am con I was very well aware of the whole joint issue of the joints the elbows and the joints and the uh, and the shoulders I thought they would have improved on this I thought they would have fixed it uh, and they they did not uh, it's it's bad it's it's not okay um, it's it's a bad shortcut uh, and they get a for shame on me on this. This was, this this looks so obvious. I don't know what type of quality control happens in the in the in the factories where this is manufactured. I'm assuming this is direct from China. Um, and and I'm I'm studying it. I'm just kind of inspecting it. And those uh, those shoulder joints are are pretty much a big red flag. A a, a big concern. Everything else. On this, you know, I'm looking at the arm, and you can kind of see 
that the R&D, if you can see where the actual components, where they're molded together, they're, they're, it's just, it's not seamless. Um, the paint application is okay. It's very, it's exact same paint application from the 2014 release. And if you're wondering what the 2014 release retailed for, it was $250 and it included an additional faceplate from what I remember from the video. So the the arms are are uh, the the bipedal arm feature here is a is a huge train wreck. Um, and I'm not I'm not going to give up at this point. I'm I'm studying it. I want to see if I can fix it. That's why I kind of I spent a lot of time. I want to see look if I live in some part of the world where I, I may not have the opportunity to return this to Sideshow or, or, or whatnot, how can I fix this? And they used some sort of pressure cap system. It's not, they what, what I feel that what, what they should have done is that the elbow and the shoulder joints should have been die cast. You could have kept the arms and the body parts plastic, but uh, these special uh joints right here where uh where it articulates they 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 could have incorporated die cast would that have affected the price probably but look at what you get it's uh there's not much confidence in here that this is going to last for more than a few years until it starts to deteriorate disintegrate um yeah, I, it's it is what it is. I haven't decided at this point uh, what I'm gonna do. I I don't want. I really don't want to return this. I really don't. I I I will reach out to Sideshow, and uh, I want to see what the options are. Um, I I really did. I mean, I didn't just like dismiss it. I wanted to see. Hey. Is this something that I could fix? Is it is it a screw? Is it a, a nut? Uh, a nut? Is it a bolt? And it's not. It's it, they use some sort of pressure, uh, like a, like a pressure uh, ratchet system there that gets clamped on, and and if you don't apply the certain amount of pressure to to get the actual clamp to be secure or or, or assembled, it's not going to work. So I couldn't. I couldn't do much without probably destroying it. So um, I gave up. This is probably about 30 to 40 minutes right there. I'm not kidding. I really I really wanted to see, like, could I fix this? What if someone doesn't have the opportunity to uh, to return this and they're stuck with it? Uh, so I set that aside. And I'm like, all right, let me, let me take a look at Grievous. The paint application, by the way, if you're wondering, is what I expected. This is, this is the sideshow quality of marksmanship they've never been able to to master the the art of, of paint applications um it, it's just it's been it's always been one of their weaknesses it it, it just is uh, here i'm just in, like like look at that that's that's not good how is gre this is it's it's stressful it it really is uh because He's a freaking general for crying out loud. I mean, he's supposed to be able to wield lightsabers against, yeah, <laughs> against Jedis. Uh, and it's bad. The the detail in the, everything else so far, it's just the the assembly of General Grievous is is where it's lacking. And, and again, I never owned an original Grievous. I don't know if these were common tropes uh from the very beginning i just don't uh i and w something that i i found myself doing you know unboxing this and just looking at the joints inspecting is that uh i was i wanted to look at this from 2014 eyes 2014 was a different era it was a different year it's a different time in in one six scale collecting and uh I was just trying to imagine, like, was was this normal? This type of of, uh, of manufacturing. I don't think it is because when I got into collecting Hot Toys in, in 2012, my first figure was the Mark II Unleash, and that thing was beyond belief. 
So this just tells me that even even back then they were always still taking shortcuts. Yeah, it's that's awful. That's awful. It's it's. It's kind of like uh, I, I, in my head at this point, I'm like, you know, I, I was yelling like, hey, Mary, hold my calls. I'm going to be here all night type deal as I, as I'm, uh, <laughs> I mean, I just, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to do all I, all I can do was kind of study, uh, focus on the joints uh, and, and see if I can maybe separate the, uh, the, the plastic components Maybe I can separate it and then re-glue it back. I, I just don't. I don't like dealing with returns. I'm not. I'm not that person. Um, I'm not that person that if my food is brought to my table, and it doesn't have enough salt, I'm not going to call the waiter to bring it back to the kitchen. I worked in the kitchen. I know what they do back there. If customers start complaining and bitching, you get your food back in an unusual way. Um, I, I always preach, always vote with your dollars. Um, I've always been very selective about my one six scale figures from, from Sideshow. Uh, I have maybe three. I have the Lando Calrissian skiff guard, uh, which, which is subpar. Uh, one of my earlier videos I did, I had the, um, the, the, the R2D2 from Sideshow. That was a flimsy little mess. I have that in my archives in my library. Uh, that's the uh, the faceplate. This right here kind of bugged me. Why didn't they just prevent us from swapping out the faceplate? This is clear. The, the The whole idea of the faceplate swap was that the original release included a, a different face. Uh, this right here um, kind of bugged me. I'm like you should have just glued it together. There's no reason to incorporate the whole magnet feature and so forth. Uh, the, the inner components, the cyborg components and the tubes and the tubulars and the whole that whole Borg effect, I liked it. I really did. I really found that very intriguing. I found that very, very cool. The whole fluorescent green look, everything about it just looked really cool. So after an hour of, of contemplating, I decided, oh, I have this stretchy nylon string here. It's, it's, uh, it, it's, it, if I tied around the ball joint... It'll create the right proper tension without damaging anything. So, what it's a it's it's a nylon flexi string, so it's not glue. It's not going to damage anything. But if you tie it around the joints of concern, it'll create a, a safe amount of pressure that you'll be able to um, achieve certain poses. And again, I wanted to share this with the audience here because I thought this was important. Um, whether or not you decide to keep this figure or not, uh, I, I wanted to um, at least kind of help. I really did. And again, I, I don't know. I you know you don't have to skip to the end of the video. I at this point I honestly do not know if I'm going to keep this Grievous. the 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 truth of the matter is is that you know I don't I'm not part of the flock of sheep out there that believes that hot toys will one day make a General Grievous. I don't believe anything until it ends up in the pre-order. I've been in this game way, way too long. Um, we can speculate all we want, but even if they announced a Grievous, you know, it, it would still be two years out. Um, even if they decided to tease it, I still wouldn't hold my breath for a Hot Toys Grievous. I can, I can clearly see now, studying this figure in my experience so far, that uh, if Hot Toys made a Grievous, it would it would be really expensive. Now this is embarrassing. I had to use a Star Wars Black Series Grievous as a reference because they don't include instructions. I, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out the right proper positions of the joints on the ankles and the feet and so forth. It was really stressing me out. I had to go into my into my Black Series cabinet and dig and dig this guy out just so that I can use him as a reference point. It's it's that serious, folks. It it, it really is, and I'm and I'm there kind of like studying because I couldn't. I just, I just I became dyslexic. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't understand how these joints are are positioned. Not to mention that he is a top heavy figure. So maybe something was R and D designed where the certain toes and points help support the the upper body. I just couldn't believe that this guy could not stand by himself 
I, I, I've seen the earlier videos where, you know, like, yeah, you know, you, you got to use like the, the crotch stand and so forth and, and he's fragile and so forth. And I get it. I, I know that this guy is very fragile. I know there's a lot of uh, points of our of uh, articulation. But uh, it's just it's just when you study the 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 quality the the assembly it's just it's sad. So this is my test right here. You can kind of see that he's able to hold a pose with the nylon st strings um, tied around the actual ball sockets on there to create the safe amount of tension to to to, uh, to strike a pose. This is a tip. I mean, this is something that I wanted to share that if you do decide to keep your Grievous, um, this is something that it's it's a hack. Um, let's look at the uh, accessories there. And I didn't, you can see I destroyed the box already because I didn't know that the accessory uh, blister pack was, was taped on. So there goes that. Um, the cape should be the same. I can't imagine they did anything with the cape. It looks like the exact same cape. I think what they added the, uh, the the lightsaber pockets maybe, but it looks to me like the exact same cape from from 2014. I may I if I decide to keep this, and again this is I'm record I'm editing this at midnight, and uh, if I decide to keep this, I may run this through some hot water with some fabric softener uh, to to kind of stress out the fabric so that it'll flow a little bit more realistically. Uh, and this stand here, this, I do remember on Sideshow Freaks, people complaining about this stand. This is years ago, and I remember this stand was always an issue. And if you wanted more proof that this was just a simple, they turned on the print and presses, and they just decided to print it out, it's right there, folks. 2014, this was a 2013 pre-order, and it was released in 2014. Right there. It's just, it's sad that uh, it, it really feels like a, a cash grab because they knew that the Star Wars fans would 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 essentially cut cut themselves over for a 1-6 scale Grievous. Plain and simple, right? We pretty much grabbed our ankles for this one. The Energy Baton here staff is uh, is cool. It's, it's okay. It feels dated, though. This is the accessories... Is, is is another issue that I, I found kind of disheartening because the lightsabers just look dated. It looks like something from the early 2000s. It looks like something that uh, Hasbro would have uh, popped out with their 12-inch figures. And you can kind of see, it just, it doesn't hold up. <laughs> it, it really does look like something out of like the, uh, the early 2010s. Um, they're they're magnetized, yeah, uh, just like the original ones, so that Grievous can can hold them in his hands, and so forth. And there's, I mean, there's no creativity to these lightsaber hilts at all. It just it has that uh, generic vacuum chrome look to them. That uh, it's just it doesn't work. If you take Grievous with these vacuum uh, uh, chrome vacuum lightsabers and you you have Grievous going up against Kylo Ren in some fantasy battle it's it's not gonna work <laughs> it's just it's not gonna work uh, I had a I, I it was it was a, a bit challenging to use the uh, the crotch stand uh, trying to get him to uh, get the little prongs right up his uh, butt packets on there I didn't like this. I didn't like the stand. Um, it it doesn't. I didn't like that. If you push too high on it, it uh, it it just he got top heavy. It didn't seem safe. It didn't seem like a very safe al alternative. It really didn't. Uh, luckily, I had something uh, in in the back that I had worked on a little while ago. We'll give uh, credit to uh, Red Snapper. This is a Red Snapper base. I always tend to repurpose things. The difference with this red snapper base is that there's a, a weight. There, there's a, a heavy uh, steel weight inside of it. And I did a little bit of modding on it so that little a special fork on there at the end that I'm able to 
position. And this is something else too that I, I, I felt that they should have done is that they should have included like a bendy arm so that you could have gotten a little bit more of a dynamic pose versus the the, the, the crotch handle on there. It, it just seems very limited. At least with a bendy fork, you can, you can be a somewhat creative. Uh, and then with the certain angles, you can kind of almost hide the bar right through his legs and then once you add the cape it'll it'll seem somewhat seamless so I like this you know this look so far I mean it's it's I'm trying to find the positive out of uh, out of a, a, a pig pen here I really am I'm trying to uh, <laughs> so I, at least the the crotch down here I struggle with this cape I'm not kidding right here I really struggled with this cape I didn't I didn't know if it went over his neck, over his collarbone. Again, I, I had to use the Star Wars series Grievous as a reference point, and then I had to pull up some some artwork. So it, it turns out that the cape actually goes right underneath that uh, that collarbone type look on there. And uh, I, I I used the uh, the cape to kind of blend in uh, the uh, the arm that's giving him the the, the actual support. Yeah, they should have included like a bendy arm, but I mean, again, this is a complete 100% reissue from 2014. I was able to get him to hold the, the, the energy gaffy stick on there. And then what I did to achieve the next pose is that I used a poster tack to add some tension onto the joints on here uh, so that I, it'll hold the pose. Uh, poster tack does not damage um, plastics or die cast or anything. It's pretty safe safe on the skin, safe on the stuff, and uh, it'll help kind of achieve certain static poses with it. But uh, in, in the end, it was, it just, it felt like a lot of work. All so that I can pretend I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi and I battle in General Grievous, you know. Hello there, General Kenobi, you're a lot shorter than I thought you were. I tried. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I'm going to reach out to Sideshow. This is a tough one. Uh, it's it's breaking my heart here. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, if I take him back, I may never see Grievous ever again. And I'm not going to join the flock of sheep thinking that Hot Toys will make one. <sighs> decisions, decisions, folks.